In this video tutorial, we're going to have a look at the autonomic nervous system as it relates to the head and neck. But first of all, let us just consider um, the autonomic nervous system in the context of the um, wider arrangement of the uh, central and peripheral nervous system. So our central nervous system consists of the brain and the spinal cord, and our peripheral nervous system um, feeds into this. First of all, we have our sensory or our afferent nerves that are carrying signals uh, from our uh, peripheries or our core into the central nervous system. We then have the motor or the efferent arm of our peripheral nervous system, which is carrying signals uh, out from the central nervous system, system to certain target tissues. The motor arm or efferent arm of the peripheral nervous system uh, can be categorised uh, further into two. The first is a general somatic efferent. This essentially just relates to motor nerves that are innervating our skeletal muscles and therefore convey um, a voluntary control or are under our conscious control. So general somatic efferents are essentially the motor nerves to our skeletal muscle. The other arm of the motor or efferent peripheral nervous system is our general visceral efferents. You're perhaps more familiar with these as the autonomic nervous system. So these motor efferents or efferents are innervating structures that um, are not necessarily under our conscious control or awareness and therefore considered involuntary. And they will feed various structures within our body core and our periphery. We can divide our autonomic nervous system into sympathetic and parasympathetic. And these can have either opposing or sometimes complementary actions uh, throughout the body depending on which uh, tissue or organ system you're, that you're looking at. The broad actions of our uh, visceral or autonomic nervous system is to innervate cardiac and smooth muscle, but also glands such as sweat glands and salivary glands. The broad actions uh, conveyed by the parasympathetic system on these particular target tissues can be described as rest and digest and in terms of the sympathetic nervous system as uh, fight or flight. So obviously these two arms of the visceral or autonomic um, nervous system, visceral efferent, um, have quite uh, different effects uh, on uh, different target tissues. If we look at the um, effects on the circulatory system, so that includes obviously the, the heart and cardiac smooth muscle, we find that the sympathetic nervous system has um, a sort of stimulatory effect in terms of increasing heart rate, uh, enhancing the contractile force of the muscle, um, and also um, accelerating um, sort of conduction through the atrioventricular uh, conducting systems. Whereas the parasympathetic um, has uh, quite a different effect in that it will slow heart rate, um, has um, a slight uh, negative effect on um, heart muscle contracti contractility uh, and also um, slows the velocity of, of conduction uh, through the AV node. If we look at the smooth muscles uh, around the blood vessels, it is the sympathetic nervous system which has a stimulatory effect uh, here causing uh, obviously vasoconstriction. If we were to look at smooth muscle in the rest of the body, though, for example, in the respiratory tract or the gastrointestinal tract, it is actually the parasympathetic nervous system which uh, exerts that um, um, uh, stimulatory control. So it's parasympathetic innervation um, via the vagus nerve, uh, for the most part, um, to uh, smooth muscle in the gut, which uh, causes um, peristalsis, and or smooth muscle in the respiratory tree, which causes bronchoconstriction. Finally, with regards to glands, so that might be um, sweat glands um, or salivary or mucosal glands, um, the sympathetic nervous system has a sort of a stimulatory effect on sweat glands. So obviously our sympathetic response um, may be to, uh, to sweat uh, slightly more uh, excessively, whereas the parasympathetic nervous system is what has um, a sort of stimulatory effect on the um, the salivary and the uh, mucosal glands. 
So that uh, essentially uh, summarises the arrangement of the central and peripheral nervous system and where the autonomic nervous system uh, fits into um, all of this.